in another video blog. I lost count numbers again. It's probably like 12, I think. And today's video blog is about last night. Yay! I was going to make it last night, but I kind of got home and just literally fell in bed and was asleep. Didn't return on my electric blanket. Um, so I'm home at 2 in the morning. And I had to wake up this morning at 8 because we're going shopping. It's like, it's like 6 hours of sleep. I'm probably going to sleep all the way to the view and back. Anyway, last night, I went to the Rock and Worship Roadshow. And for anybody who doesn't know what that is, it's a concert of... Oh, let me see. Sidewalk Prophets, who we missed in the show, because... Everybody else left at 3 in the afternoon to get there, and we left at 5, and it's a two-hour drive to Madison. So, pretty much, everybody else got to see them, and we got there right after their show ended. Anyway, Sidewalk Profits, Remedy Drive, Fee. I forget who came after Fee. I think Francesca Battistelli. Family Force 5. David Crowder, and Mercy Me. Um, I went mostly for... Family Force 5, just because I love them. And, um, Toby Mac was listed on their, on the schedule for our show. Even though he's not on the Rock and Worship Road show, he was scheduled. But then when we got there, they said that was a typo. It's like, some typo. Some people just came to see Toby Mac. But it was $10, it's $10 tickets. They're going all over the U.S. I highly recommend going. It was great. Um... Anyway, we got to see Remedy Drive. As soon as we got there, I heard the announcer guy say, Remedy Drive! And I was like, I wanted to see them! So we, we went in really fast, and I got to take some cool pictures of them. And the guy, like, fell off the piano. If you know Remedy Drive, he's always jumping on top of his piano. He fell off, and it was actually kind of funny. I, I started giggling, even though I think... I can't tell if it was intentional or not, but I thought it looked funny. And, um, then Fee was really good. They had great lighting, and they sang cool songs, and... I like them anyway. And then Francesca Battistelli was really nice to listen to. Um, she's not my style. Not, none of those bands are really like exactly what I would listen to. But um, she was really good, and I liked listening to her. She has a great voice. Then Family Force Five was amazing. I was so intent. I was gonna go meet Solo and Fatty because at Ignite, I met Croutons and Chapstick and Nate Daddy, who are actually my three favorites in the band. So I was going to go meet Soul Glow and Fatty this time. And Soul Glow had glasses. I was like, Soul Glow has glasses. Yeah, it was cool. Anyway, um, that was amazing. But I didn't get to go meet them because by the time Mercy Me was up, they had already had a line going all the way around the bottom level of the arena. And that arena is enormous. And so I was like, I am not getting in that line because we were carpooling with people from the youth group to go. So I, would, I didn't want to keep them waiting or anything. Some of my friends were in the front of the line, but they had backstage passes, so they got to meet the bands before the show. Because um, one of the guys in the youth group actually was doing press coverage of the pic he did pictures and interviews, stuff like that. And um, so his daughter got a backstage pass to go meet Family Force 5. It was like, that is so cool. Apparently, um, they um, were a lot of fun, I heard. But anyway, I wasn't too worried about it, because I'd already met them. And I didn't have anything else for them to sign. I have Dance or Die. That's the only hard copy I have of theirs. So I had nothing else for them to sign, because they'd all signed the front of it already. Well, the three of them. And so that would have been kind of awkward, but I would have had, like, Family Force 8 signatures. Oh, Xanadu got his hair cut. I was almost... I was in shock. I was like, Xanadu's hair is short? It was just strange. Anyway, that was obviously my favorite part, if you can't tell. I was having so much fun. I was, like, screaming along with the lyrics, and the guy next to me was there for Mercy Me, so he was this really quiet guy from a different youth group that I, don't, I didn't know him or anything, but he was obviously there for Miss Mercy Me, and he didn't approve of, like, Fee's level of loudness, even. And so Family Force 5 comes out, and he kept giving me these glances, like, are you insane? And I was like, I love this band! Yeah, and on the way home, everybody was like, I didn't like that one screaming band. You know, I couldn't tell what they were saying at all. And they were all bashing it. And I was like, that was my favorite part. And they are like, you could actually tell what they were saying. I was like, of course, couldn't you? And then they all were laughing at me, but I don't care. I had a lot of fun. They sang Ghost Ride the Whip, and that was really funny because 
my brother didn't even know that song. He's like, what is this? And I was like, this is Ghost Ride the Whip. And he, well, he doesn't like them that much. But even he had to admit it was a fun concert. And, um, anyway. Enough about them because I'm just going to go for everything. Oh, except, look. I figured out how to put buttons on this. I'm so happy. I didn't have my chapstick button last night with me because I got this at night, by the way, at their table. It was so cool. They had all the buttons. And I was like... I want a chapstick button for 25 cents. He's my favorite. I like chapstick, and then I like... Uh, I can never tell if I like croutons or Nate Daddy better. But anyway, yeah. Anyway, um, I didn't know I could pin these on, on this, because it's plastic. Like, it's vinyl stuff. So I didn't know if you could pin onto this. So I figured that out today, and so I'm now going to wear my Lovely Family Force 5 and Life Fest button, which I've never been to Life Fest. I got it at Districts. I won it at the Life Fest table. Anyway, I'm keeping them pinned onto this because all the like K pins go on my hat. I am so rambly today about stuff. I'm just hyper and I've been up all night long. Anyway, Mercy Me was really good. David Crowder. David Crowder was good too. Um, I'm not a fan, if that's okay. <laughs> Uh, something about his voice just kind of bugs me, and his appearance just really bugs me. I don't know why it makes me think of Napoleon Dynamite, but it always does. Anyway, they, they play a good show, though. They, they sing well and everything. And, um, they played a song, um, Oh, How He Loves Us So, you know? I don't know if you know that song or not. They played that, and I remember that song from Districts, because they played it at Districts a lot for the worship services, so I really like that. And, um, then Fee came back out and sang, I can't remember what he sang, but, anyway, it was another song from Districts, while they took Offering, it was really pretty, and I really liked that. So, that was really cool. Then Mercy Me came out, and they had played two of their new songs, and they were all dressed in suits, which I thought was just classy. But they're really cool. I'm not a huge fan of that type of music either, but they're one of my favorites of that type, you know? Them and... Casting Crowns on Third Day. Why does everybody confuse them all? I don't think they sound that much alike. Mercy Me and Casting Crowns sound alike. But I think Casting Crowns and Third Day look alike. But I don't think any of them look like Mercy Me. I confused myself just there. Anyway. I'm doing this video blog in my closet because my brother's playing the piano and it's really loud and this is where it's quietest. So I should probably go because it's probably getting too long for YouTube. Um, today I'm going shopping. Should be fun. I don't really like shopping, though. And that's about all I have to say. So, if you rock and worship boy road shows going near you, it's $10. Pay at the door. Go see it. You will love it. Peace out.